and welcome and thanks for joining us at Sales Cakes and Bakes. Today what I'm going to be showing you is how to be using the Karen Davies Buttercream Flour Mould. Karen Davies moulds. The quality of them is absolutely amazing. It's thick, it's good quality silicone. You know if you've got a Karen Davies mould then it's not a copy because it has Karen Davies written inside the mould. The detail of all her moulds are absolutely amazing. This mould is very good because you get a lot of different flowers, fillers and some leaves as well. What I'm going to be using it with is on this cake here this also is one of karen davies molds it's the brickwork absolutely amazing love it i love her mold so what we'll be needing is the buttercream flour mold which is by karen davies i've got some white fondant mixed with modeling paste i've got some blue fondant and modeling paste mixed together some water and a brush Another brush. This is for dusting. The dust I'm using today are the Colour Splash Rain. Got the pearl white shimmer, and also the Claire Bauman Rain. Sky blue colour, flesh colour. Corn flower pouch. Very very handy. This one's from Purple Cupcakes. And then its own little container. And it's a kitchen towel. Right. So let's get started and show you what we're going to be doing, how we're going to be doing it. Firstly, we're going to be getting some of our white fondant and modeling paste which we've mixed. Just to let you know the items that I am using, the links will be in the description below. Let's give it a knead. Get your corn flour pouch, depending on which one you're going to use, as I'm going to be using all of them. Give it a good dusting of corn flour. Tap out the excess. Over, over. Have some of your fondant modelling paste mix. The smooth side of the fondant, not where all the seams are, and pop that in the mould. Pop some corn flour on your fingers. In the UK it's called corn flour, in America it's called corn starch. So you have your fondant in the middle of the flour that you're going to be using. And in a rocking motion, you rock two fingers backwards and forwards. And as you go, you push the extra fondant to one side, preferably to a corner. So then you can just gather it up and pinch it off. There's no need to use a knife on the mould. Make sure it's flush against the mould. Once you have it all flush against the mould and it's not coming over the edge of the detail of the flower, give it a wiggle just by loosening up the sides or the edges. Tip it over and out it pops. It's incredible. Look, look at the detail in there. I'll leave that to one side and we'll do a few more. Just to show you, if you do take some fondant and it's not enough, because as you can see I don't have enough there to actually fill the actual flour, you can just grab some more, give it a little knead and add it in rather than having to, to actually take out what you've already done. The other thing I would like to show you is you can also do two different colours or three if you want more. Grab the colour that you're going to be using first in the same actual mould, the actual same flower as well. So the centre of it I'll do blue. So you pop that in the mould. 
right into the centre and then put that on there. Pop that in right into the centre. And then grab your next colour, in my case I'm using white. Pop it in the centre and then just rub your fingers backwards and forwards. Give it a wiggle or a popping. Flip it over and ta da! I know my colours run in a little bit, but it's pretty. I'll show you another one. In this case, we'll go white in the centre and then work our colour out. <laughs> On Karen Davies's um, packs, when you get her mould, they come in a little bag, and each one comes with a little leaflet, and it tells you how many grams you need for her mould, or how many grams of fondant, which is um, quite useful. Karen Davies has a very wide variety of um, different moulds. Give it a pull around the edges so it loosens it up. Flip it over. Ta da! Sweet! The other thing I wanted to show you if you want to use this flower here, but you don't want to use the entire flower, you can just use like the, the centre of it or go further out and stop. So I'll show you how you can do that. Up, pop it in the middle and just stop where you would like to stop and just tend to just push it in so you can actually see the detail of the end tips of the petal. Flip it over and look, that's a smaller version which is nice too. What I'm going to show you now is how to dust the flowers with the different dust that we've got, the different colours. This is Colour Splash Pearl Shimmer Dust. Pop your brush in the pot, get some colour, tip off the excess, and then pop it on a kitchen towel and rub it into the kitchen towel. This way you won't get too much on your brush and then just yeah, dust them. It makes it all look beautiful. You don't have to do all of them if you don't want to. You can just do the ones that you want to kind of to pop out a bit more. I'm just going to grab the blue. This is the Claire Bauman. Sky blue, it's the cake lace one. Grab it on your brush. It's part of that. The little goes a long way. This has got a shimmer to it, which is quite nice as well. This can kind of go in the centre of it and around the edges. And I'll show you what that looks like. Look, how pretty that looks. I'm not sure if you can see the sparkle. So yeah, it's got sparkle on it. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'll show you on the rose if you kind of want it to pop more on certain bits. So you can go like a bit darker in the centre. And then around the edges, just go lighter. I'll show you what the flesh um, Claire Bauman one looks like as well if I just do a flower. 
just grab the clean brush for the other colour. I prefer the, this brush for the dusting. You can also pop luster dust, these dust, in your mould, but I try. I, I tend not to because it's hard to get it out. I find when washing them. So now I'm just going to show you just to basically stick them on. I just grab some water. This one looks a bit wet for some. It looks like water on the table. Put some water at the bottom of the flower, and it can just. So on the bag, you can arrange them however you see fit. <laughs> if you don't stick them, like put water down now, then you've always got the option of lifting them up, and and they can overlap as well. And I'll do some more. these as well absolutely lovely i love it i absolutely love it credit where credit is true i can't you know fault karen davies molds they're absolutely amazing and she does loads of them i wish i could have the whole collection but i don't i hope you have enjoyed watching me use the karen davies buttercream mold if you haven't got one make sure you do get one you can get them off her website don't forget the link is in the description below for you to purchase the, the bits that I've used today and here we have the finished cake this is the buttercream Karen Davies flower mold and get all these different kind of flowers and fillers on there I hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial please don't forget to like the video subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and make sure you do click on the notification so you know when I post another video and please do share with others. Thanks for joining us on Sours Cakes and Bakes. See you soon. Thanks for joining us at Sours Cakes and Bakes. Today what I'm going to be showing you is how to be using the new Nifty Nozzle.